kutakuwa na uchafuzi mdogo kutokana na utepetevu wa uchapishaji wa karatasi na uh, habari zingine uh, na kuna wapiga kura katika kaunti hizo ama maeneo hayo ambao walishiriki kwenye zoezi la uchakuzi lililokamilika hiyo jana tarehe tisa na waliwekewa wino kwenye vidole vyao kwenye, kuonyesha kwamba wameshiriki uh, kwenye uchakuzi mkuu je itakuwaje uh, siku ya uchakuzi uh, mdogo katika maeneo hayo kwa identify such like voters ndipo sawa wapewe nafasi ya kupiga kura uh, swala la uh, swala la pili linahusiana na uchakuzi katika eneo bunge la Kimilili County ya Bungoma ambapo um, tumeona habari habari zikienea katika vyombo vya habari na kwenye mitandao mitandao ya kijamii uh, kusema kwamba huenda mmoja wa kombea katika eneo bunge hilo aliweza kumpiga mmoja wa wasaidizi uh, wa waniaji katika eneo bunge hilo risasi na kufa na tumeona kwamba county commander wa eneo bunge la Kimilili ama county ya Bungoma kamanda wa polisi amesema kwamba wanamtafuta mkombea huyo. Je, uh, itaku, uh, kama atapatikana ama madai hayo yatakuwa ni ya ukweli. Nyinyi kama tu ya IEBC mutachukua hatua gani ki, uh, 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 kufuatia kisa hicho maana huenda ikaathiri matokeo ya uchakuzi katika kaunti ya Bungoma Asante. Okay, thank you. On the issue of uh, the ink marking, the CEO, what, what happens? You can come and explain that. I believe the, the ink is marked uh, specific parts of the body, and uh, in that eventually then another part of the, the, the fingers will be chosen for that purpose. But I think the CEO can uh, give some explanation on that. The issue of uh, Kimilili, uh, I've also just read in the media that there was an incident yesterday, the polling had finished, uh, the, the counting will go on, the results will be announced, and the winner, w winners will be declared. Uh, matters of uh, 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 murder cases is a criminal matter, that's a matter for the police, and I believe the law will take its course. It, the commission uh, will, of course, does not uh, deal with those kind of cases, and the officers who are on the ground will obviously be witnesses. And as far as uh, the law goes, until that time an individual is convicted, then uh, the commission will not be able to come in in the, 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 in the criminal investigation. So we believe that uh, justice will be done uh, to those who are involved in that incident. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Marjan? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, first of all, uh, I would like to say that uh, in identification, the default method is still going to use the PIMS kit to identify voters for those specific violations biometrically, use of alphanumeric, and also in the event that uh, we don't have backups, we will still go to the physical register. You may have noted that during the election we were actually using the left hand. So we are marking the, the fingers using the ink in the left hand. So when it comes to the violation, we are going to use uh, the right hand. So that is going to distinguish between the ink that was used uh, in the left hand and we will now use uh, the right hand to actually ink the voters who have been identified for the purpose of uh, election. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, just, just for clarity, um, I was given some, the figure of 64.6% water turnout uh, represents 14,164,561 voters. 64.6% percent represents 14 million 164 561 voters 
Uh, and of course, this figure will go up once we get the data of those who voted uh, manually. Thank you. Yeah. My name is Lena Duamalo from West TV. And uh, my question is uh, based on that where we are at 97.77%. Now, from a layman's perspective, people outside there, when we see we are there, it means the results are here. So where are we? If you can tell us the part that is remaining, is, it, uh, is the journey shorter or longer? Are we expecting any declaration today or what time are we expecting at that, uh, at that percentage? Thank you. Hmm? Are, are we together? I've, or I'm, I've been talking to myself, maybe. Omalo, what we are saying here is this, that all the forms that for us that we are going to use are in the public portal. Those are the results. Those results cannot be changed. The results at polling station are final, and nobody can change those results. Even if there's a mistake as a commission, we shall just note the error and keep error form and in the event of uh, any dispute we shall submit that error form together the results to the supreme court so let's understand each other from there that the results are from 34a and they have been transmitted electronically from polling stations across the country except a few we are now at 97.7 uh, there, there's uh, what's the difference 2.3 2.2 Seven still out there, and uh, these are areas like uh, Fafi and other areas where there are issues of network uh, challenges. And we expect that hopefully, and also elders where the voting is ongoing, uh, as per the remarks which we made this afternoon. So those are the results, but there is a process as to how then to get to the final declaration. And that process is what I've explained, that the, the, the images are here. We are going to get the original that four S and compare them against the image. In the presence of uh, presidential agents, some of them I see them in the room. And that we have to do because it's a legal requirement. And once that's done, then we shall fill from that four C, which then will give us the final uh, total. Remember, in this process, the uh, we are looking for 50% plus one for the winner, and we are also looking for uh, compliance with the constitution where the winning candidate must have 25% of the minimum number of counties, which is 24. So all these processes must be done. And after all that, then we shall declare the president-elect or give the way forward of the results for the presidential election. So I, I don't know, if I'm not clear, I'll start that again. But I believe that's a process. Please acquaint yourself with the process because the, the, the issue of saying that we should declare ourselves today, that will not happen today. We have seven days to do that. But the, as a national returning officer, I'm assuring you that we shall do everything possible to have this process concluded at the earliest possible time. Uh, my name is Samuel Owino from Bailey Nation. I just need a clarification from the Commission on why Form 34B from Moyale has been an incomplete form. 34B from Moyale has been uploaded at the Commission's uh, portal. I've not had you addressing it. I don't know whether it has been brought to your attention. It not yet brought to my attention, but I'll pick it up in our next uh, press. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thanks. Thank you, Chairman. My name is Iverson Maina from k 4 TV. I have um, question number one is, uh, will you start to stream the results uh, once you begin the process of ver verification? Or maybe you wait and announce the final tally. Number two is um, what can you say about maybe what is the success rate of this particular process as far as presidential polling uh, polls is, is concerned. How do you rate uh, you know, the IBC in the whole process? And um, three, what is that challenge that you think is the biggest challenge so far you faced 
since you began this process. Thank you. Okay. Uh, there's one of these screens will be used to populate the results for each constituency and results garnered by each candidate in each constituency. And another screen uh, will also populate results uh, by the counties so that we are able to achieve then what is expected of us in terms of results uh, uh, process. So yes, immediately the teams verify the, 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 the Form 34As and also uh, look at Form 34Bs. Then remember that 4Bs are a collection of that 4As in the constituency. Once they are, we have the results, then we shall populate constituency by constituency until we do all the 290 constituencies plus the ask for our results. And they'll appear on this screen and we shall announce each result as, as soon as the, the process is, is finished by the, the teams which are down here. So yes, we shall populate it. Immediately they come one by one and announce the country one by one as they, they come in. Uh, success rate, I think we answer that one when we finish this process. But so far at the polling, I just want to say polling went on smoothly. Uh, the areas where there was manual voting, it's provided for in law. And I, I want to believe that uh, the issue of scoring the success rate, we can do it all together when we finish this uh, process. Thank you. Asante. Mwenyekiti, mina itua Good Luck Po, kutoka Azam TV, Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. Jana uli toa kauli ya matumaini kwa IEBC mna kusudia zoezi hili zima liishe mapema iweze kanavi. Kutoka na changamoto zote hizi ambazo zimetajwa, tathmini yenu mpaka sasa hivi ni ipi, bado tuendele kuwa na matumaini yao, au kuna kitu ambacho mnaona pengine kinaweza ikasababisha zoezi hili pengine kuchukua muda zaidi ya uli ambao litarajua. Is that the last question? Yeah. This is kama tume tunafanya kazi kulingana na sheria na tutaendelea na hiyo kazi matokeo ya urais tumepewa muda ya siku saba ku kuangalia kuwa hiyo matokeo itolewe na tutajitahidi kumaliza hiyo kazi mapema iwezekanavyo. Asante sana. Thank you very much. That was the status update as of now, and we will inform you of the next update. Thank you very much.